Mr. Fisher, it's good to have you on. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, thank you, Scott. Good to see you. I'm sure you've heard some of the calls made on this network today that the <laughs> Fed needs to do some emergency action. Uh, you laugh, but what's your re reaction? Well, it's a little bit eerie that started in Japan. It was off over 12 percent in Taipei. Taiwan was off over 8 percent. And when I say eerie, it reminds me of 1987. October 18th is when things started selling off in Hong Kong. And of course, we had a dramatic move 20 percent down on October 19th, 87 here. Now, what did the Fed do? Alan Greenspan on October 20th, so the day after the huge downward swoop, came in and said simply, the Fed is ready to provide liquidity uh, to support the economy and the financial system. Did nothing else. And I think this business of asking the Fed to react with a cut, I agree with uh, Ron and Santa, who just said, uh, maybe because we've been friends for, I guess, 30 years now, that it would be panicky and it might send the wrong signal. The Fed will always act if some, something occurs that threatens the credit system or the economy. And it's not clear that what's happened the last few days, including today, with the Dow off over 1,000, that's going to impact the economy significantly or threaten the credit system. If it does, then they would move. And the other but, thing I would say, Scott, is remember yeah, they, have the, sorry. The Jackson, they have the Jackson Hole meeting coming up in two weeks. That's right. They'll, that'll be a very interesting session to watch and see what kind of signals that are sent. I don't see any need to move intra meeting uh, unless there is a threat to the credit system. And we, we can't say we see that yet after just a couple of days of harsh market reaction. Ron made the point, though, that the, the Fed shouldn't do anything before September, but they should say something now. Along the lines of the lines of, of what you suggested Greenspan did back then, that that Fed mm -hmm. Chair Powell should come out and say we will provide liquidity. He, he said exactly what you say. Should he do that? Should the chair come out today and say in, in light of these global developments, the Fed will be there to provide whatever liquidity is necessary if it is needed? I'm not sure he should say that today, but he should have it in his back pocket. And again, we have Jackson Hole in literally two weeks from tomorrow. So uh, I think you, there's no such thing at the Fed as instant analysis. And the one thing I disagree with Ron on, which is rare, is of course they were aware of the Japanese uh, carry trade. Everybody's aware of it. And the Fed brains have been watching that very carefully. But they have to be careful not to just have instant analysis and react like so many people appear to do today. Their job is to think things through, be calm, reassuring and make sure that that it's not threatening the credit system. We did see a big pop up in spreads today, triple C's and junk. Um, and we saw it starting over the weekend. So maybe that's sending a signal. We'll have to see, Ron. Uh, we'll just have to see, Scott, and see whether or not that requires some statement from the Fed. But I'd have it in my back pocket just in case. That doesn't mean you cut necessarily it does mean you could provide some reassurance by a simple statement like Greenspan made in 87. But this is an 87. This isn't 20 percent in one day. We'll just have to wait and see what obtains. Do, do you think they're already too late, though, to, to cut? The point that Rick Reeder of, of BlackRock yeah. makes today is they're already far too restrictive, given where inflation is relative to target and then especially relative to where the Fed funds is, is already, that they're, they're way too restrictive now and they need to do something sooner rather than later, even if the economy is still in a relatively stable place. I'm quoting from his post on social media right. a short time ago. Well, Rick is one of the giants in the business. I have enormous respect for him. Um, but again, here I beg to differ. I don't think they need to, to cut right away. I think there is room for them to move in September. I'm not of the view that they need, at least as of now, to move 50 basis points or more. Some have even said 75 basis points. Uh, I think they've done a good job. Inflation is coming down. We're disinflating further. The economy is still growing, although weakening. And thus far, despite all the criticism that Powell and the committee have faced, uh, they've done a pretty good job. We're still not landing, and it's not clear we're going to have a harsh landing yet. We'll just have to see. But why would you want to move before September if you have a chance to make a statement at Jackson Hole where you have almost all the other good central bankers around you? 
and see what you can come up with that may be reassuring. 